Hey, David here with DIY Mountain Bike. We are going to convert my son's bike. He's got an old, what is this, a diamond back. It's got a three by eight drivetrain. We're gonna switch it over to a one by or a single chain ring up in the front versus the three. So generally the process, right? We're gonna take the shifter off. We're gonna take the front derailleur off. Then we're gonna pull our crank arms off along with our front chain rings. We're gonna replace it with another set of chain rings with something called a narrow wide chain ring. Helps retain the chain on the bike, put some cranks on, swap out the pedals. So that's generally the process. What tools do you need? So just hitting the tools again, like I'm like sitting out here. I know it's not very organized, but so hex wrenches, most likely the eight, and then all the little ones you're gonna need for taking stuff off the handlebars, along with that front derailleur. 15 millimeter pedal wrench, and then a bottom bracket crank removal tool. And then this is what I'm using. I'm gonna have a link in the description. Pretty inexpensive, I think it was about $35. It's called a Bucklow's. Um, I bought a narrow wide chain ring to 34 tooth so it pretty much matches middle ring that's currently on the bike all right so let's jump into the handlebars real quick really love these ergonomic grips uh oh got a visit with the puppy here We're watching my daughter's dog. All right, so we got this off. All right, so we're down here at the front derailleur. Let's take this guy off. So remember, we're gonna have to take the chain off as well. Just getting in here, gonna loosen up the cable attachment. Got that off. Now I'll take the main derailleur clamp off. This one's gotta come all the way off. Get down the hinge. So quick little tip when taking the chain off. I've got a piece of, it's just a hanger that I have. So I've got the master link identified. And then I'll stretch that out a bit. Pop that in, it gives me some slack. This is an old greasy chain. I'm gonna end up cleaning this guy up. But with that slack, I can get onto my master link. Pop that guy loose. About like so. Quick and easy. With that uh, piece of coat hanger, it's just bent into some little hooks. And I got my master link out. All right, I'm gonna throw this chain into this bucket and give it a good cleaning. So we got our front derailleur off at this point. Next, we get to jump into taking our crank off and putting on our new chain ring. So crank this bolt here isn't like a lot of the other bolts. It's just a normal threaded bolt. Oh, get out of here. So next up is our crank puller. We're gonna take our cranks off. Be careful, you don't wanna cross thread this. So put it in, I'm gonna screw this in until it stops. A lot of times your pedal wrench, a 15 millimeter, is gonna be what is gonna work on this. Usually it comes off pretty easy. Kind of a slow turn. That's it, so take that off and we'll do the other side. All right, now that we got our crank arms off, Cleaned everything up in this area. We're going to do some assembly on our crank arms and our chain ring. So 
so we've got everything out here. So the, the crank arm is going to go on. It depends the centering. So this crank arm can go on both sides, right? It can go on the outside of the chain ring. Or in order to get, keep this nice and aligned well, we're actually going to put it on or the inside of the, the crank arm, right? So they come with these little special bolts. One of them's a pretty small, low profile nut. Let's get this going. So screw that guy on. We got one on loose. Let's put the rest of them on loose and then we'll start tightening everything up. All right, so we got it on. Let's put our crank arms on both sides of the bike. So I'm not gonna use this bolt again. It's getting kind of all messed up. So we're gonna use a standard bolt for our crank. And then I'll put this cover on in order to dress it up. Now it's time for our pedals. So we're gonna reuse the pedals. I don't really believe in tightening pedals down real hard. So we got our pedals on, now it's time for the chain. If you put it on the wrong way, it won't fully seat. Just back it up another notch there, another tooth, so. And then I'm going to show you a little hack. I will often use a clip. So I'll put a little clip to hold the chain onto the front chain ring. Let's move you to the back. Time to thread this through. So I've got my derailleur is set at my tallest gear, right? So my smallest gear here. And with that, wrap around the front of the first jockey wheel and then through and then drop it down about like so again we're going to go back and use that little hack i showed you or a coat hanger trim it down put some hooks on the end put it into your chain now you got a little bit of slack to play with get your master link all right let's unhook this and then you always want to give this a little to set that link all right looks pretty good all right we're going to run through our gears real quick all right i'm liking it so that is converting a three chain ring to a single one by easy.